Hey guys, thanks for joining. So in this video, we're gonna go over how to configure SSL inbound inspection. So you configure the SSL inbound inspection if you have a website hosted behind the Paulo Alto firewall and you want to decrypt the traffic on the firewall to see if there's any malicious traffic going toward your uh, website. And the way you need to do it is you need to import the certificate from the website, uh, this is the private key and the public key, to the Paulo Alto firewall. Because the end users don't have your certificate here, your internal certificate trusted, okay? So you have to get the certificate, which is usually signed by like uh, a certificate authority. Uh, you could do it from GoDaddy. I, I've done it from uh, Let's Encrypt. So uh, yeah, all right. So I did also a couple of changes. I've hosted um, a dummy website, if you want, uh, on the a mirror of my website, actually. And I've created a NAT here, you a one-to-one -one NAT and enabled HTTP traffic just from my IP, just uh, since this is not my actual website. All right, and, uh, and you could see here, so if I go to the URL, net prepare, and here this is gonna give, it's not working, all right? So it's just the home page that's working, and you see it's actually trusted, all right? Since this is in my legit certificate. All right, so let's do a couple of things. If you go under devices, this is the first thing you need to go and do. So this is also, you could find this if you go to um, the um, Nginx, you'll see it under the directory where you could find your certificate and private key. It's actually under um, SSL underscore certificate and SSL underscore certificate underscore key, okay? And it's under the server. All right, so let's uh, put the chain first. I always like to do that. Alright, so now let's import our certificate. And I would always like to block private key exports. I don't want people to be able to export this for any reason. But that's up to you. Alright, so I've imported the private key and the certificate right then what you need to do is under uh, objects so here under the decryption profile let's do the SSL inbound inspection usually it's recommended to block uh, unsupported version and try first with for sure and what I'll do is also block session if resources not available and block downgrades all right and also under the SSL set, uh, settings I specify like what what's maximum version I'm uh, the minimum and the maximum version all right so I let's put no max and if it's if it's specific you could specify like hey my server doesn't use anything less than uh, 1.2 okay and then under policy decryption and let's create one now So let's say from anywhere because like sometimes we have internal resources trying to access that and destination uh, inside. So here we need to specify both IPs, the external and the internal, since we said we're making the policy somewhat general. Services, HTTPS, URL category, we're not gonna do that. Decrypt, here we specify that inbound inspection. We want to specify the certificate, which is net prepare cert. Decryption profile is net prepare. And let's log the successful and unsuccessful. All right, so let's commit. All right, and you could see we've actually, it's actually worked and it says decrypted and yes, yes. And also if we go under the decryption one, you'll see you'll get all the information here. Okay. And you could get more detail under the, you could see here all the logs, which is nice, strategy of the encryption algorithm and so on and so on. All right, guys, I think that's enough. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, thank you for joining. Bye.